now that I'm not here, I'm fine. Okay, because Michael said that. Yes, I know what Michael said, but I think he exaggerated my condition so that, you know, Marcy would let me go. Actually, once I had my medicine, I, I was okay. I, I'm going to be fine. And you know what? So is your son. Okay, can I check you out? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Can I remove your jacket? Sure. Uh, Todd, listen, Sam has been sleeping for most of this. He's an absolute angel. Well, he's just like me. <laughs> and Sam is such a perfect name for him. I'm so sorry I couldn't talk Marcy into surrendering. Hey, you know, when I told you you should go back to Paris, if I'd known you were going to go to Paris, Texas, uh... You would have given me different advice. Do I still need to be worried about you? To recap our new story, Victoria Lord Davidson, a well-known publisher from Landview, Pennsylvania, was Gosh, just okay. from a local right. cafe where kidnapper Marcy McBain was holding her hostage. You okay? Mrs. Davidson, is it true that you are a waitress at the Bonjour Cafe? If I could... <laughs> it's a lot hot. Sorry, why don't we try another channel? Right now, we have more questions and answers as Mrs. McBain, her husband, and a little boy remain sequestered inside the Bonjour Cafe. Why would they let McBain go in there? That can't be standard procedure. No. I, th I think I'm going to try John. I I'll go try Todd. Yeah. Who are you following, my wife or your niece? I'm going to go help Nigel with the coffee. Uh, Nora. Yeah, I promise. I'm not going to brew it. I'm just going to bring it. That's not why I want you to stay. Victoria Davidson shares an emotional reunion with her brother, the biological father of Marcy McBain's adopted son. Mm. Must say that five, five times fast, dear. The little boy they named Tommy is now in You know, my son is Mr. Father, and we named him Sam. Sam. Thank, Thank you. you. To let Miss Davidson go. Oh, one thing I don't get. Um... Stars and Vicky, she's totally rich, right? Oh, yes. Born with a silver spoon in her mouth. So why is she working in some Renji diner? You know, that's a question we'd all like to know the answer to. Todd, you know, if the family's watching this on television back home, they just have a lot of questions they want answers to. Besides, they, the reporters are doing their job. I'll my answer first. Okay. What pressure is fine considering? How's your mental state? Oh, Todd! Nick Smith is not here, okay? Besides, I sincerely doubt the paramedic can tell whether Nikki is back by checking my vital signs. I'm as compass mentis as I could possibly be. You should still go and get a thorough examination. Okay. Huh? See? I will, I will, as soon as I know that Marcy and the baby are safe. Thank you. Thank you. So what went down in there? I mean, really? God, Marcy doesn't want to hurt anybody. Doesn't mean she won't. How are you feeling now, Mrs. Davidson? Oh, John, thank you. I'm much better. Thanks for taking care Not of me. Not at all. Agent Sutton, ma'am, FBI. Whenever you feel up to it, we're going to need a complete report. It's fine. Do you think I could, I could call my family first, please? Can we get Mrs. Davidson to phone? Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. What are you waiting on, Sutton? You got that psycho in there with my kid, now with her husband, who's probably making plans for her to escape. Why don't you get the hell in there and get them out? Think he still remembers me? Oh, Mike, of course he does. Yeah, those big cheats I love. <laughs> you know what? He, he got all four of his, uh, on the on the bottom, you know, huh? his teeth, he got all four. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he did. And you know what? He's talking now, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, you don't want to go away from Daddy? Huh? He's talking now. He, um, he's speaking in almost whole sentences. I mean, he sometimes, well, most of the time, he forgets the verbs, but he knows how to get his point across. At least to me, right? Right? Lovely means I love you. Love them, Tommy. Yeah. Oh my God, my God. Oh, please, don't want us, Michael. We can be a family again. Please.
phone. That's what you really want. You want these guys storming the diner while Marcy's got a gun. You really want to put your child at risk. What do you think? Oh. I don't know. Marcy can't stay in there forever, and there's nowhere else for her to go. She's not going to put that child in danger. Sure he has, Vicky. Todd, she... I really think she's beginning to understand what it is she has to do. Well, I don't think so. I think if she did understand, she'd have sent you out here with your nephew. I'm not following Jessica or Natalie. What is your problem? Well, their mother's been through hell today. Their nephew's been taken hostage, and you're drooling over both of them. Well, I have the FBI. They have me on hold for Mom. Thanks. Jessica? Oh, Mom, thank God we were so worried. Are you okay? I'm fine, sweetheart. And it's so good to hear your voices. I'm, I'm fine now. I would give anything to come with you and Tommy, but you know we can't. Why not? Look outside. As much as I don't want to lose Tommy to Todd, I don't want to lose you to a sniper. No, Michael. Michael, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Marcy, you're not cooperating. You are not surrendering. You took Vicki Davidson hostage. Look, I am not the criminal. I am not a criminal. Todd Manning is the criminal, Michael. He doesn't know Tommy. He doesn't love Tommy. He just thinks that he's his, a possession. That's I all know. he thinks. I know it's not fair. You're damn right it's not fair. Especially not to Tommy. I mean, if I give him up now, he's the one who is going to suffer the most. What do you think is going to happen? But you're going to hang on to him while you shoot your way out of here and just pray that he doesn't get hit by a bullet? No. Michael, I would never hurt Tommy. I, you know that. Okay, John said that he's going to get us a car, and he's going to get us a plane, and then, and then we're going to fly someplace safe. We're going to go someplace safe where no one knows who we are, and where no one will take our son away Marcy, from us, Michael. that is never going to happen. I'm sorry. This is the end of the line. Uh, Dad's here, too. He's getting on the phone. Thanks. Vicky, thank God. Oh, listen, I'm, I'm sorry that I frightened all of you, okay? You don't have to apologize for that. Listen, I'm going to get the jet fired up. We're going to come down there and bring you home. Uh, wait a minute, Clint. I, I appreciate that, but I, I can't leave here just yet. Why not? Be because I want to s oh, stay with Todd until he gets his son back and I make sure that, you know, everything is okay. Look, I'm all right, okay? And, and I'll explain everything to you when I get home. Well, when, when is that going to be? Uh, soon, darling. I, I promise you, okay? Look, I I've missed you all very, very much, but I, I, I want to go back to Todd now, all right? We love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. I love you all, okay, very, very much, and I, I'll, I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. She all right? Yeah, she sounded like her old self. And she's coming home soon. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. Is everything okay at home? It's fine. Thank you. Did anything happen to us? No, nothing. Just got to give Mike more time. Right. Is it all right? Can we come in? Oh, uh, John, is it all right? It's okay by me, Agent Sutton. Let them through. Uh, Ms. Morasco, if I can ask you a few questions. Not now, but I'd like to know if it's in there no son. Oh, I hope you don't mind us coming over. No. Uh, we're just so happy to see you again. Well, I just yeah. wanted to say, oh, hell. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm sorry, fine. Shane. Could you give us a minute, please? It's all right. Ah, it's all right. Yeah. I had no idea if you knew Sally and Marcy. Or that Tommy was your nephew. Yeah, well, it's a lot to fathom, isn't it? I want you to know that, um... I'm not sorry that I helped Marcy, but I'm awfully sorry for the trouble that it made for you. Jeez, did you know that Sally Ann was really Marcy? Yeah, I found out a while ago. And yet you continued to help her. Wow. Well, you did what you thought was right. I understand that. Thank you. Oh, honey. Listen. The problem is you could be in a little bit of trouble now. 
What else is new? Uh, excuse me. Uh, are we going to talk about the great big elephant in the room? I mean, parking lot? Huh? Does Charlie know who you really are? Who I really am? Um, if you mean my last name and my life story? No, not so much. Well, if he's anywhere near a TV tonight, he sure will now. While the hostage situation continues, Victoria Lord Davidson reunites with fellow employees of the Bonjour Cafe. It would seem as Davidson... We're supposed to care about this? Here in Paris. Why? Mike, just make your mind off things. You're starting to sound like me, thanks to Well, don't you want to look nice for tomorrow's welcome home party for your brother? Whatever. I wonder if Cole is watching this stuff. Oh, I'm sure they're hanging on to every word, Shade Buchanan. Oh, really? Then why hasn't he called me yet? And why did you mute the TV? I need to know what's going on. Oh, give it to me. Okay. Why isn't Marcy coming out yet? Mike, you could help us. You could if you really wanted to, Michael. You could help us. How? People have been helping us every step of this way. They don't even know us, and they've been sacrificing. And then you don't What do I have left to sacrifice? I have lost everything. And when I could have helped, you wouldn't give me the chance. If you had told me the truth about Todd being Tommy's father from the beginning, then this would never have happened, Michael. This would never have happened. I never would have left before the custody hearing before... I made a terrible mistake. Just like you made when you took off. I lost everything. I lost my job. I lost you, Michael. I was not about to lose my baby. You don't have to lose me. Marcy, I'm right here. But we can't stay in this diner for the rest of our lives. Look, if you, if you cooperate with the authorities, you might not even do jail time. <gasps> no, you can plead this out, Marcy. Vicky will vouch for you. And John, maybe we'll be granted visitation. Visitation! Do you think I want to visit my son, Michael? How do I do that? I mean, knowing that he belongs to someone else, Michael, how do I live without my son? How do I do you that? You do it the same way I have. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. He thinks that I just disappeared on him. I couldn't trust you. I just couldn't trust you, Michael, okay? And I, th I thought you understood. You, I heard you. I heard you say that you what? understood. What? When did you ever hear me say that? Weeks ago. Weeks ago, you came to visit me across the street in the motel, and I heard you. I heard you talking to Gigi. You were there? I was, yes, I was in the bathroom. I was hiding. You were there? You heard me, and you couldn't even trust me enough to come out? I wanted to, Michael. I wanted to. I poured my heart out to Gigi. And you heard that, and you still couldn't come out. I thought you were going to take Tommy away. <sighs> My God, what about now? What about now? What, am I supposed to trust you now when I come in here and you've got a gun on me? As the standoff continues, and we enter into the fifth hour here, and there's no movement inside the cafe, is the FBI planning to accede to any of Marcy McBain's demands? We have no comment at this time. <sighs> I better not one more. Lieutenant McBain, or more precisely, ex-lieutenant, sources say you were suspended for hiding the truth about your adopted nephew's paternity. Now your entire family is in jeopardy in there. Any regrets? None. Vicky, your brother? Yeah? I whipped him at the zoo. How do you know my brother? Shane, not now. Uh, it's a long story. Yeah, are you hungry? I could kick you up some. Or, uh, what, what am I saying? I hope she's not trashing the place in there. She already did enough damage when she didn't even intend to. Well, you, come on. Let's get you sat down and comfortable, at least. Okay. What did his brother and that Ramsey guy do to us? That's our little secret now, okay? Why? Because I said so. Do you see Aunt Vicky in the background? I, I wonder what that reporter's asking her. Oh, let's find out. Uh, I think it's this one. Uh, Miss Davidson, just one question, please. Your friends and family thought you were living a high life in Paris, France. Instead, you came to Paris, Texas and took up waitressing. Why is that? And she's damn good at it. Pardon my French. Look, I, I understand you're desperate for airtime, guys, to fill it, but, but uh, 
this story is about my brother and his son, and I'd like to keep the focus on that. Okay? I understand you went home uh, after the death of a family friend and just recently returned to Paris. If your family's watching, will you tell them at least what brought you back here? What else? A man, okay? Now leave her alone. Well, that's enough of that. Uh, I'm Dorian. A man? <sighs> To recap our new story, Victoria Lord Davidson. A man? Well, she did say that she had someone in her life. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, how serious can it be? We don't even know his name. Well, there are a lot of things that we don't know about your mother these days. Maybe she really is Nikki Smith. No, no. If she was, she wouldn't have come home when Marty died. And she wouldn't have called tonight. Hmm. I'm going to go check on Bree. Yeah, I'll come with you. I know this isn't the best time, but if you happen to notice the way Jared's have been looking at you? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 See, so you've been acting so concerned about your mother that I think the gig's up. I don't think he's going to believe your test anymore. Okay, well, I think you're right, but now is not the right time to talk about it. Look, look, hey. I'm working on something that might stop Jared from trying to sell our vineyard back to be, please, just... Give me a little more time. I'll be quick. Hello. You sure your mom's okay? Yes. I'm glad. I know she means everything to you. I feel a little in the way here. <clears throat> okay, then. I'm gonna... Go upstairs. Okay. Good night, Allie. We can't let this stalemate go on forever. I'm telling you, Mike's the one person to get Marcy to surrender peacefully. But what if he doesn't? We haven't had any communication from him. What if we've endangered his life now? We always knew you were someone special, Vicky. And I'll always remember how you taught me that specials doesn't have an apostrophe. That they're G.G. Marasco. Not a word. Todd! What, what, what did you do that for? She, she's not responsible for what happened to Sam. I want you to call in and talk to Marcy. Why? You're trained in hostage situations, and you have a relationship with the perp. You're our final shot. You forced my hand. Why could you force my hand? And look, I don't know what else to do, okay? I don't know what else to do because I, you keep saying, you keep saying that this is the end, but it can't be the end. Michael, it can't be the end because I don't know how to give my baby. <laughs> I didn't think that I could either. Right, but this doesn't have to be the end of your life. Of our life as a family. Look, I'm here now. Okay, we, we, we're together again. We can make this decision together. I don't know. No. No, you mean that you are going to tell me what to do, Michael? That's what no, you mean. No, no. You have to make this decision. If you can decide to forgive me for not telling you that Todd was Tommy's biological father, we'll be able to be together again. We'll be able to get each other through this. I don't know how to do that, Michael. How do we forgive each other for what we've done? How do we do that? Because we love each other. I know that no matter what has happened, you still love me. Marcia, being with you again, it's like I have my life back. Marcia, you are my life. You always have been, and you always will be. Marcy, I love you. I love you too. Aunt Dorian, I know you don't want to hear about Aunt Vicky and her new boyfriend, but I need to know about my brother. Fine, we will turn the TV back on you. I just simply cannot keep listening to the same drivel. And I'm sure if something new does happen, the, the, the phone will be ringing off the hook. So if something bad happens, you just don't want me to see it? Please, don't even think that. All right, now, look, get, 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 why don't you sit down? Um... I, I, w I want the two of you to just focus on something else. Oh, how about this? Why don't you help me plan 
Adriana's wedding. Are you kidding me? I'm not helping that traitor. Hi, sweet girl. I almost lost my mommy tonight. I remember a few months ago when I thought you'd have to grow up without me. I was so scared. I understand why Marcy did what she did tonight. If somebody told me I couldn't see you grow up, I don't know what I'd do. I love you so much. So what happened to that bad girl who didn't care about her mom? Or her husband? Or her little brat? Where'd my test go? In sleepy Paris, Texas, Friday night drama usually means a high school ball game. Now in a town where just about everybody knows your name, citizens draw together to offer comfort, support, and prayer. Yeah, I love you guys too. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll call you when uh, I learn anything else. Oh, oh wait, 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 don't hang up. Uh, Natalie, you want to talk to your brothers? Sure, thanks. Hey, Kevin, I thought it was time to switch from caffeine to something that was going to help you sleep. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, any clues to what Vicky was actually doing in Texas? Reevaluating her life, huh? Ah, a lot of that going around. Good for her. Yeah, I just hope that she comes home soon. Well, she said she was going to, and that she misses you all like crazy. Oh, we miss her, too. Yeah. I miss her. I haven't been a very good friend to her lately. Well, how could you be? Vicky hasn't been around here. Yeah, but I didn't know she was in Texas. And she didn't know what I was doing with you. I don't really blame Gigi for this. I blame myself. And why is this your fault? You know, everyone said that I should have handled this whole custody that a little differently. You know, that I should have been maybe a little more, uh, maybe a little more compassionate or something. And what do you think? I don't know. They might have something. Maybe, maybe if I, if I hadn't been more, you know, if I hadn't been so impatient about wanting him, if I hadn't said, no, I, I can't wait, I, I got him right now, all or nothing, then... Maybe Marcy wouldn't have felt threatened. She wouldn't have. <laughs> this is the point where you're, you're not saying anything. No, I'm not. No. The hindsight is twenty twenty, Doc. Okay. And who knows what any of us would have done differently. The point is now you have to look forward. To what? I have no idea what all this is done to Sam. No, that's not going to happen. Marcy loves that child more than life itself. She is not going to let anything happen to it. I'm glad you're here. Not that you had to endure all this, but you know how to help. There's no way I'm going to lure Marcy out into the open so some anxious sharpshooter can take a crack at her. I want to give her a chance to walk through that door with Michael and Tommy. We're going to give it another half hour. After that, time's up. We're going to have to go in. What are we going to do, Marcy? We can still go away, Mike. We can go. We can go to South America. Marcy. We can do it. Well, I know. I know you think I'm dreaming, but, you know, having you here with us, I believe that anything's possible. And I really do. I believe that we can do anything, Mike. That's for you. <laughs> if you don't talk to them, they're going to come in here. Marcy? 
Agent Sutton. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to John. I don't want to talk to you. The car you requested is a few minutes away, and we procured a plane for you and your son. You better not be lying to me. Do you hear me? Because I still have a hostage. We are very much aware of that. As soon as you bring him and the baby out, you have my word and John's. You will not be hurt. That's good. Because that's what, exactly what I wanted to hear. We're almost home, Mike. Michael, what's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. You called me a hostage. Oh, Mike, come on. That's just, that's just what I wanted them to think. You know I... Oh, come on, please. Mike, please, come on. Just... Marcy, there isn't going to be a car or a plane. Do you think they're just going to let you go? No, look, you, John said... I know what John said. I heard what they were planning. It's a trick. What do you... Hey, son. So, when Marcy comes out and she notices that there's no car, she's liable to freak, right? So what are you going to do to protect my son? Sam is our top priority. That's why we need to break this impasse. The longer this thing keeps going on, the greater the chance of somebody getting hurt. We won't let that happen. My mom didn't do anything wrong. Okay, well, there was that one time at the doctor's office when she scraped that lady's car. Okay, James, it, but... Sorry, I was just trying to help. Like you were trying to help Sally. Um, listen, I, I already told you. I knew Marcy was a fugitive, and I did what I could to help her keep her son. Such as? Giving her money, buying her groceries, helping her get a job, babysitting, taking down the posters Todd Manning put up. That's enough. G. Marasco, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent, and can you say it can and will be held against you in a court of law. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand your rights? They're arresting Gigi. What? Gigi! Gigi! I think she can hear you. And her son? What have I done, Mike? What have I done? Don't do that to my mom. A Gigi Marasco, a waitress at the Bonjour Cafe, who apparently befriended both Lord Davidson and McBain, is being taken into custody by local officials for aiding and abetting a fugitive. What about my son? Who's going to take care of my son? We've got Shane, Gigi. Sure. Could you just give her a minute with her son, please? Make it snappy. You be good for mowing the well, okay? And don't forget to use your inhaler if you start to feel wheezy. Don't try and tough it out. If it gets really bad, you have to take him to the yard. You won't be gone that long, you hear? Have Mo uh, teach you how to make some grilled cheese sandwiches, okay? Women love a man who can cook. What's gonna happen to you? I love you, okay? Be fine. Okay, time's up. Let's go. Mom! Mom! Don't hurt her! I love you! Thank you. You won't hurt her. Mike, she can't lose her son. She can't. We're not going to South America. You know that, right? We are not going to make our son grow up like this. Having nightmares, watching his mother wave a gun around, always afraid that his family is going to be taken away from him. Because you know, no matter where we go, Todd is going to be right behind us. I don't want him to be unhappy, Mike. I don't want him. I know. Todd and Blair aren't the ideal parents. But... For all of his flaws, we know that Todd's a, a good dad. And the truth is, he's better for Tommy than we are right now. You really think that, Mike? Yes. I've thought about this a long time. Tommy is still so young. And I know that we don't ever want him to forget about us, but... He's young enough that he will, and that's a blessing. Tommy has a bunch of people to love him and to take care of him, and that's so much better for a kid than a life on the run, a life as a fugitive. 
We have to let him go, Marcy, but on our own. If we don't, I'm afraid that I'm going to be saying goodbye to both of you. Forever. What the heck are you and I doing? I mean, maybe we better figure that out because it would be awfully hard to tell Vicky something we don't know ourselves. See, this is the problem with lawyers. We get very obsessive about definitions and verbal nuances. I say, why force a label on something that's naturally evolving all on its own, huh? Oops, uh, wait, wait, wait you, am I interrupting something? Well, at least it wasn't during this time. <laughs> I'm good. Well, what, what can I say? You're with Bree. No one was watching you. That was real. You were watching me. Nash could walk by any second. He's already suspicious. You're not Tess, sweet. You heard what my family said. They're scared that Nikki's gonna come back and take over Vicky's <laughs> life. It's happened before. Some whacked out family you've got here. Sure is, from all three sides, so you fit in perfectly. It is a good thing that you're not really related to Jessica. Of course, if you're not gonna take advantage of your situation, then... <laughs> I think you're the one trying to take advantage. Well, when the board votes on whether B.E. is gonna buy Nash's vineyard, I'll prove to you that whose side I'm on. I want proof now. Well, you can't always get what you want. Yeah, I can. Star, that is not the way to talk about a relative. Are, are you kidding me, Aunt Dorian? I could say a heck of a lot worse right now about her. Come on! Adriana is the reason why Sam was taken away from us. It's the reason why why he w is in this situation right now. Why Mrs. McBain snapped and is threatening to kill Aunt Vicky. And you best believe that as soon as my dad and mom get back with Sam, we are throwing Adriana and Rex straight in jail. And you know what? I don't think that they cover prison weddings in that magazine. Or I... Langston, um... You've never had a sister, have you? And, um... Uh, now that um, you are Adriana's foster sister, you've come at a very, very uh, happy moment in her life. And as her foster sister, you'll be part of the wedding. I will get you a gorgeous dress. So, of course, you'll help me plan the wedding, right? Shane, honey, I think you should go home now with Noelle and Mo, okay? And first thing in the morning, we'll see what's up with your mom, okay? Yes. Yeah. I'm surprised you're still here. I'm relieved that I am. I think he means that you're supposed to go to the hospital and get checked out. Why? I'm absolutely fine. Vicky, you know that I appreciate you being here. I really do. Please, go take care of yourself. Not for yourself, then for me. All right, okay. But, but look, if you need anything... If I need anything. If anything happens, I'll call you. Where's on our way? Well, that's good. That's and you call me. I will okay, call so you. I know you're okay? Yeah, I'll All right. call you. I'll call you. All right, how much longer are we going to get? Sutton wants to make a move, but I know my brother. I know he can do this. One way or another, this better end soon. No, I can't. Oh, Michael, I can't lose my kids. No, Barcy, you already have. Barcy, there's two ways that this can end. All right, we can give Tommy to Todd, and then we can watch him grow up from a distance. Yes, but we, we, we will be there to watch him grow into a wonderful man. <laughs> well, we can try to shoot our way out of here and risk all getting caught in the crossfire. Barcy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but we have to give him up. We have to let him go, and we have to do it together. Because once he's gone, what else are we going to have but each other? No, Mike, I can't do it. Mike, I can't do it. Please don't make me do it. I have something for you. Where'd you get that? 
It doesn't matter. What matters is what it says on the inside. <laughs> for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Somebody want to tell me what's going on here? I just made a move on your wife. We're part of the reason this is happening. You have to love him enough to let him go. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on Soul.